Hi, welcome to Life in a Bottle, Season 2, Episode 31. Uh, I'm Kyle, and we're going solo this week. I have a beautiful Spanish wine, um, perfect for an afternoon like this, so let's just jump right into it. We're in Spain, as I mentioned. More specifically, we're in Galicia, in the region of Rias Baixas, and the subregion of Val do Salne. This is the 2018 Eladio Pinheiro Albarino and Vida Cochina. And Vida Cochina is the name of the wine, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But Albarino is pretty much a staple of the region of Rias Baixas. It's on the Atlantic coast of Spain. Uh, they get a little bit cooler weather there than the Mediterranean climate of the rest of the country. So great freshness, great acidity from these wines, and this guy is no exception. Uh, Eladio Pinheiro has been farming grapes for about 40 years. Uh, early 2000s, he decided he was gonna sell his winery, kind of semi-retire, and his family talked him into going back to some of his choice plots that he held, had held on to, just telling him, listen, you're like, you've got these awesome grapes, you've gotta make wine. And he's been doing it since just about shortly thereafter, 2003, um, in a super traditional style. So these wines, again, are very fresh. The soil that they're grown in is not fertile. It's very well drained, so these wines have to work hard. They're about 30 years old, so you've got super deep roots, which we've talked about several times, uh, which we really think just lends a lot more complexity to the wine. With wines that have acid like this, it's super, super fresh and bright. You get that mouth-watering pucker. They do they have to do something to balance the acidity. And the way they do that is by aging the wine on the lees. Uh, it's a French technique often talked about with Chablis, where all the yeast that's in the wine after it falls out just kind of adds complexity. They stir that up every now and then. It just adds texture, um, some of that, that richness without being buttery like you might think of with a Chardonnay. Uh, and it just rounds it out absolutely beautifully. If we're gonna jump in the glass, the nose is like just right peach, a little bit of pear, some super clean citrus. Again, super bright and fresh, but it's got great texture, just a little bit of richness to it that really rounds it out and adds beautiful complexity. This is a wine in super classic style with other wines from the region. You could pair with seafood, shellfish, uh, paella, things like that, absolutely. But it's got enough richness behind the acidity. I think it would go really beautifully with like jamón iberico and manchego cheese. Um, I think even a richer fish like cod or monkfish would be really, really great with this. As far as the name of the wine goes, and Vida Cochina is a Spanish expression that translates really poorly to English, but basically it comes down to being envious of someone else's good fortune. And I can't help but feel lucky to be drinking this in a backyard on a day like today. So, cheers. Cheers. 